Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Auto and today is Tuesday, July 25th. It's gonna be hot today, close to 90, over 90. Very humid in Wisconsin, it's great. Anyways, grab your coffee. We're gonna go through what we got in over the weekend. Uh, I didn't do one yesterday. Normally I do them on Mondays, but uh, yesterday we just didn't get anything in until about 11 o'clock. By then it was too busy in the day to get anything done. So uh, we're going to do it today. We got a bunch of stuff in yesterday afternoon and uh, this morning and last night for trade-ins and stuff. So let's get right to it. Remember, all these vehicles are going to be linked in the description below. Uh, so click that. Subscribe to the channel. We do this once a week. Um, and if you guys like it, I'll do it more. But uh Anyways, uh, here we go, Tuesday, we get in. All right, I got a 2019 Chevy Suburban LT1. It's got 61,000 miles, and even though it's an LT1, it's got nav, it's got dual DVD, it's an eight passenger, so it has a second row seating, and it's a shadow gray metallic. Really a good looking ride, 61,000 miles on that one, and you know, if you need an eight passenger vehicle, that's definitely got Blu-ray. Uh, dual Blu-rays, so if you got kids, that's the one. Right here we got a 2018 Ram 3500 Crew Long Dually. This one's got 46,000 miles on it. It's got some issues, not sure if we're gonna keep it. It's gonna definitely probably need tires and uh, buffing and seat repair and it's just kind of dirty. Um, we'll see what it all needs in the shop. I've got a very nice 2016 one owner from Texas uh, crew cab long box dual rear wheel LTZ uh, Duramax this one's silver ice metallic and this one's got 40,000 right around 40,000 miles on it comes with a companion 20,000 pound fifth wheel and the cool thing about this one is it's a bacon LTZ or a BLTZ so that's pretty cool. Um, Really nice truck though, it's in great condition for a 2016. I did get a 2019 Willis edition um, Wrangler in. It's kind of plain Jane. I think this one has 39,000 miles on it. and But it's really nice, it's got the LED light group. So LED headlamps, running lights, fog lights. And it's gonna probably need tires, so we're probably gonna do tires to that. And other than being just a little dirty on the inside, it's in really nice condition. Another hot vehicle that we're gonna get in right away this morning is this 2019 Dodge Durango GT Plus. It's uh, got the three six in it. This one has right around 40,000 miles as well. And uh, we've got a, actually a bunch of leads on this one already. This one came in on trade on that um, RT that we had with the Brembo brakes. That was the, what was it, the tow and go package that that one had. This one's just a plain GT Plus, but uh, still really a good looking vehicle. And then I've got a 2016 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. This is a six speed manual. It's got 9,000 miles. It's got the brass monkey wheels and uh, the red Alcantara seats. It is going to need a windshield, so we'll have to do a windshield on that, but really a good looking ride. This one just came in this morning. This is a GMC Sierra 2500 uh, Duramax diesel. This one has 46,000 miles on it, and uh, it's got just a couple little things, dent in the front bumper, kind of dings all the way around it, but it's an SLT. It's got a cap on it, really nice truck. Uh, 2022. Chevy Silverado 2500 this is a gasser and it's a custom it's got the 20 inch wheels this truck only has 2900 miles on it so I uh, want a one owner clean title history truck uh, like new in the wrapper that's the one right there here is a Ford Escape this one has 83,000 miles this is a 2014 this came in trade last night do not know if we're gonna keep it it's got a couple little things that we might have to do to it uh, it's got a dent in the door on the passenger side here and some touch up and stud. Um, we'll probably just touch that up maybe have the paint doc to look at it. Speaking of him, he's coming today. I got to get some vehicles ready for him. 2009 Ford Fusion. Once again, not sure if we're going to keep this. This one has exactly 100,000 miles on it. It's got the door code entry, uh, alloy wheels. I was excited. Thought maybe it was an 08. I could do a new door code entry video, but this one's an 09. Anyways, 
It's in pretty nice shape for an 09 with 100,000 miles on it. Maybe we'll keep it be a budget vehicle. This one just came in this morning, literally dropped off about 10 minutes ago. This is a 2022 Ram 2500 Bighorn. It's got, I always struggle with the miles, uh, 23,000 miles or 26,000 miles on this one. Just came in, Bighorn. Uh, looks like it's a sport. It's got the painted bumpers, uh, 20 inch wheels. Really a nice truck from what I've seen. I didn't see any dents or dings on that. This is a Yukon that I just videoed last weekend. That one's done. This is a Ram 3500 that just got done last night. Got the videos all done. That's a really nice truck. Mega cab. A big horn sport package on that one as well. It's a 3500 and it's got the ice in it. That's a brand new Grand Cherokee. That's a brand new Ram. It's a Bighorn Knight. This is a Limited. Here is a 2021 Jeep Trailhawk. Cherokee. Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Um, how many miles are on this guy? 32,000 on this vehicle. And the customers kept their floor mats. I don't know what it is. I've had about four or five vehicles in the past week that customers have been keeping their floor mats and not giving us floor mats it's really annoying anyways uh, good thing I have a bunch saved up here's a 2017 Dodge Charger or I'm sorry Challenger in maximum steel that one just got done last night for videos this is a 2017 or 18 I think it's an 18 Grand Cherokee with like 92,000 miles I just did videos on that one once again all these vehicles are going to be in the description below here's a Jeep Wagoneer L so this is the long one this is the new one we just got this one and uh it's gonna be a good video once i get to it this is the all new uh ram uh, not the power wagon but the rebel package for 2023 uh, it's a new package it comes with a cowl hood you can get these in diesel it comes with the 20 inch wheels as opposed to the um power wagons that only come in gas and the 17 inch wheels here's a 2024 jeep wrangler willis uh new body style or new mid-model refresh i guess you could say and a uh, very good looking vehicle here is a ford mustang that we just got done picturing and videoing this is a 2017 gt premium convertible Go check out the videos on our website uh, real quick before we get to this truck because this is the final truck I'm going to do and show you how fun my job is. This is a 2018 Ford Mustang GT Premium convertible that I videoed last night and then a 2019 Chevrolet Corvette 2LT. This is also a Heritage Edition Grand Sport. So really sharp car, things beautiful. Go check out the video on that. It's pretty much flawless. And then I got this truck in. This looks like a 2020. My sales department did not put uh, a year on it. Uh, this truck's only got 30,000 miles, and I just want to show you what people do to their vehicles. It's it's crazy. The bed on this thing is rough to say the least. Um, we're gonna have to at least do a bed liner on that. And uh, it's all scratched up. It's gonna need buffing. It's so, and this is this is gross. I mean, so much dog hair, and it smells so bad in here. It smells like somebody took beer cans and just dumped them out on the floor every day for the entire time that this truck was owned. It's just really disgusting. That's a big horn, and it's only got 30,000 miles, so we're going to have to get that cleaned up. Uh, definitely some work to be done there. We'll run it through the shop, make sure we're going to clean it. But that's all I got. Uh, we also got some other stuff through the shop. I've got a 2012 SRT or 2013 SRT Challenger there that just got through the shop. This Dodge Charger only has like 14,000 miles. That's a GT uh, plus I think that's a really nice car here's a 13 GT 500 convertible in sterling gray that thing is hot it's only got 9,000 miles and just a really good looking car 662 horsepower if you didn't know here's a Ram 2500 that we just got in a Chevy Duramax 15 
Not sure if I've done any of these. These won't be in the description, but they're all on our website, summitauto.com. Here's a 13 F350 that uh, came in last week late. Here's a Dodge Charger all-wheel drive SE that we just got through the shop. Here's a Camaro. That one we did last week. A Traverse came in trade. Here's a two-wheel drive Ram 1500 Express and just a ton of inventory. We've got so much stuff going on, uh, but that's everything from the weekend that came in and stuff that we just got through for pictures and videos so definitely go check us out on the website the links below and everybody have a great tuesday finish strong for your july and uh we'll see you next monday